Hello there and welcome to Let's Talk About It. So let's talk about some people in your life <clears throat> that you might need to cut out of your life. You know those people who are toxic, maybe people at work close to you, maybe some friends, maybe your parents. We all know those toxic people, all right? So I have an article here that we're gonna talk about exactly that. Also, it has six bullet points that I'm gonna go over that you're gonna find interesting and you might wanna just listen. So here we go, all right? So how to remove someone from your life? Are you ready to get these people out of your life? These people who like to maybe abuse you, how? By maybe asking you do, to do more than just your job? Maybe you're the type of person that does show up early and leave late because you're the one who's dependable. Are you ready to get those people out of your life who keep putting too much work on you? Alrighty then, so let's get to reading. All right, so toxic people can be very damaging to our lives. We all know that, right? Okay, I've experienced it, you've experienced it. I'm sure your friends know of some toxic person in their lives. They can suck the life right out of you with constant complaints and negativity, manipulation and other forms of uh, you gotta do this or that, okay? These people uh, don't have any boundaries, all right? So also, also these same people gossip, right? And uh, they're full of selfishness and things like that, all right? So they can cause depression and anxiety, all right? There you are at work. All right, um, you're going to work, you've had a crappy morning, but you get to work and you leave your um, <clears throat> baggage at the door and guess what happens? There's your boss again telling you, you have to do more work because this certain worker doesn't want to do it or whatever the case may be. The point is you're overloaded, all right? So they can cause depression and anxiety, which can lead to other health problems. You see how this all adds up? It's all bad for you, all right? These people should be eliminated from your life as soon as possible, all right? Because all these people are doing is taking your energy. And the energy that I'm talking about is the energy that you can use to do what you wanna do, whether there's a project, whether there's a business, whether it's relationships or uh, goals that you set for yourself, all right? First, let's figure out this point right here okay first who to cut out of your life all right these are many there are many types of toxic people that could potentially all right do you damage in your life all right you know them these relationships are unhealthy and should be terminated okay listen up terminated as quickly as possible all right Toxic people you should remove from your life includes the following, like I said, six bullet points. Here we go, all right? The first one, people who use you, all right? We all use people to some degree. Who should stay in our lives is based on how they benefit us. So it's normal, all right? However, there are some people who take it to an extreme, all right? And how they use us ends up hurting us. You know, there you are. There you are at work. Again, being the good worker while somebody else doesn't want to do their job. These people suck the lives out of us like parasites. Taking, or excuse me, yes, taking but never giving. We all know those people, okay? They might be in your family. They might, they might be your friends, or it might be you, all right? So number two, people who always hurt you. These are the people that you need to get out of your life, okay? Maybe it's a boyfriend. Maybe it's a girlfriend. Maybe it's your mother, all right? Maybe it's your dad, all right? Closest to you, all right? People who always hurt you. Some people just always seem to hurt us no matter how much they say they care about us. That is why it's very important to look at people's actions, what they do, all right? Because people will say this, but what 
does their actions say about them? In some cases, we mistake the hurt we feel for care, caring about what they think of us. So we keep them around, letting them hurt us repeatedly. Okay, that was number two. Number three, okay, people who insult you behind your back while being a friend to your face. Yeah, none of us like those kind of people. You know, oh, hey, you know, Mario, you're so great, blah, blah, blah so on and so forth they're all smiling you know seem to be your friends but behind their back behind your back there they are talking to the uh manager oh you know mario this or mario that you know he's happy or he's that and let's figure out how to mess it up because people are crabs in a bucket all right so these people okay these people tend to be cowards afraid to speak their minds but when they repeatedly talk about you and insult you to others which can damage your reputation all right and you should remove these people permanently because if you don't all right because this happened to me all right uh there was this one guy um i used to work with and uh he wanted to be around me like i said uh like it said here you know smiling blah 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 but yet he was an enemy um you know he thought that i wasn't um privy to what he was doing he was hanging around listening to what i was saying so he can do the opposite and cause me grief in my life all right this was at work you know apparently this person who was married uh had too much time on his hands that when he was off or at work, he would mess with me. You see these people, mm -hmm. you need to remove them. So what happened is I was like, you know what? I'll just deal with this guy because he can't win with me, so on and so forth. But the thing is I made myself available and he was trying to mess with my life. You see, you need to take yourself out. So I left the job. That's how I remedied that. You know, I tried to work with this guy, you know, put my best word forward, give him the benefit of the doubt, and that didn't help. So, boom, we had to cut him out. Okay, number four, people who continually lie to you. Okay, I was in a relationship once where um, my girl lied to everybody. Okay, her friends, her family, coworkers, strangers, and I was the only idiot thought that I'm immune to that. How naive. You see, if a person, if you're with a person and this person is constantly lying to everybody and you think that you're immune from it, she's lying to you too, buddy. She or he, doesn't matter, okay? So, people who continue to lie to you, no one wants to be surrounded by lies. So if, you, if, if someone is always lying to you, then they are unworthy and should not be in your life, okay? That is so very true. Number five, people who hold you back, all right? People that see that you're going places, people that see that you have high energy, people that say, hey man, this guy's motivated, he has a purpose. These are the people that this is talking about. Number five, people that hold you back. As we move through life, and life's already hard, Okay, life's already hard, throws you curveballs and so on, and then you have haters. Some people don't like these changes and continually try to hold you back. Keeping you from growing as a person and perhaps bettering yourself. You see, they wanna mess with your climb up the ladder in whatever job that is. And they also don't want you to obtain certain things like that beautiful girl that really likes you, all right? Um, you know, because that's how people are, all right? They will try. Most people, if they see you having a better life than they are, they are going to gang up on you and try to make your life a living hell because that's how people are, all right? Maybe you're like, oh man, this guy's crazy, you know, because my friends aren't doing any of that. No problem. Here's a little experiment. Start doing better than your friends. Start making a little bit of money, get that pretty girl, and get that car and you got um, a raise and see if I'm full of shit. I know I'm not. All right, number six, people who 
pull you back into an old lifestyle. What am I talking about? There was back in my past when I was um, hooked to cocaine, uh, the girl and I who were together at the time, we were trying to quit, all right? So um, she was a stripper, so she was living with us. So of course, sex, drugs, rock and roll, you know. So, uh, you know, they knew that uh, we were trying to not do cocaine. So what happened? So this girl, Stacy, what would she do? She would come in and come in, um, you know, after she was done working and she would slip cocaine under the door knowing that we were trying to quit. You see, that's what I mean. That's what this is talking about, all right? So people who pull you back into an old lifestyle, all right? Many people do stupid things when they are young, for sure. I know I did, and you know, maybe you did too. Many people do stupid things when they are young, but can move past this misadventures, all right? There are some people that will continually try to drag you back into those bad habits. See what I'm saying? Maybe you have a loved one that is doing that to you. Maybe you have a friend. Maybe you're trying to quit smoking cigarettes. Maybe you're trying to quit vaping, whatever it is. Whatever partner in crime you have, you have to get away from those people. These people you have to get out of your life because they're not there for you. A true friend would be saying, yes, you should stop doing X, Y, Z so you can get better results in your life. All right. So you really need to get rid of toxic friends like this before they cause further damage. Okay. Because if you're doing the right thing and you're trying to better yourself and you have a vision for your life, Try to take out as many haters out of your life. You might have to leave your job, okay? Because some people there too can be jealous of your success, all right? So how to remove someone from your life, all right? We're almost done here, okay? Once you have determined who needs to be removed from your life, there's a number of ways you can go through removing them, okay? Listen up, here we go. I won't necessarily be, it won't necessarily be easy, but it can be done with patience and, and finesse. Excuse me. Yeah, finesse on your part, okay? So there's two, there's six, six bullet points. I'm just gonna lightly uh, mention them so I don't make this um, uh, video too long, okay? So here we go. Number one, recognize that people who need to be removed from your life is one. Number two, establish solid boundaries, okay? Now many people want you to have those boundaries, okay? Because most people want to get you to put yourself last, okay? If you're too tired, if you can't stay to work an extra hour or two, make sure you tell them because they're gonna ask you and make sure that you put yourself first, meaning, hey, I have a prior engagement after work. Oh, but can you stay X, Y, Z? No, I can't stay, whatever it is, okay? Number three, have a talk. If setting up boundaries don't work, you will have to sit the person down and talk them plainly about the situation, okay? Number four, learn to say no. You see, learn to say no. Uh, number five, drift away from the relationship. This may seem cowardly, okay? But it may be the only way to finally remove someone from your life. That's the main goal, all right? We need to get rid of the haters, all right? That's why you're doing this, okay? And there's some other tips down at the bottom. I will leave this article down at the bottom, but is this is about getting your life straight because that's what this channel is about. It's about you. You, the person who made it through the abuse, the neglect, and maybe worse things that happened to you as a child, okay? And your life and your abuse wasn't your fault, all right? 
it's just something that happened. I'm not trying to make light of it, but I'm saying that we need to move forward, dust ourselves off and start looking at what is best for you, the individual, the person, because you only have one life. And wouldn't you want to have some peace, peace of mind, Okay, knowing that you're living your best life, whatever that means to you. Okay, whatever that means to you, you need to get serious about putting you first. Your feelings, your hopes, your dreams is what should be ever present every day and every morning of your life. Because you do need to follow your hopes and your dreams to make you happy because you are the most important thing in your life. So this is Mario with Let's Talk About It. And this is a channel that we talk about, obviously getting people out of your life because they're holding you back, but mainly about neglect, abuse, things that happen in your, in your childhood that is still holding you back, all right? I'm not the best person in the world, but I figured some things out and I got myself uh, out of the clutches of depression and uh, porn addiction and all sorts of other things. So give me a um, subscription or a subscribe or a like or send the video to a friend or leave me a message on here or on Mario Kart Mario Vega at gmail.com. All right, because this is all about you all right so this is mario with let's talk about it and i will see you in another video